Hi friends, this is a detailed analysis and marks distribution of digital logic design for gate CSC. Again, the format of this analysis is very similar to other analysis that we have already posted on our YouTube channel. Again, if you see this topic from digital logic design itself, if you see the more recent years, if you see the last, uh, let's say last few years, like 2021 set one, 2021 set two, 2020 and 2019, we typically see five to six marks typically, but of course in 2019, we have seen slightly more marks from digital logic design. We saw about eight marks. So in general, historically, if you see the data from 2014, various papers from 2014 to 2021, we typically observe five to six marks. Of course, there have been years like 2017 set two, where there was literally like 10 marks from digital logic design, but this is rarer in general. And digital logic design itself is a very, very scoring subject. It's fairly easy to score very good marks in this subject. And that's why it's one of the top subjects that we recommend students to cover early in their preparation. So these are broadly the four sub four four major topics and the subtopics. So if you see Boolean algebra, right? So Boolean algebra has expression minimization, corner maps, SOP, POS type of stuff. This topic is typically very easy. We also have the color coding here where green means easy, orange means medium, and red means medium plus tricky. So if you see, there aren't many hard or tricky questions typically from digital logic design. So all of Boolean algebra is fairly simple. If you know the basics of it, if you have if you have solved enough practice problems, it's all about basically following the same steps. And from Boolean algebra itself, you can expect roughly about two marks as we have seen in the previous years. But there are also exceptions like year 2020 where there were no marks at all from Boolean algebra. There are exceptions like that. Of course, there are also exceptions like 2019 where we have seen literally five marks just from Boolean algebra. But in general, you can expect about two marks, two to maybe sometimes three marks also, right? So the next topic is number system, which is about IEEE formats. How do you represent numbers literally in any computer system, right? This is also fairly simple. If you know the representations, if you know how to convert given a number to a given representation, it is fairly straightforward. Again, number systems is also an easy to score topic in gate, and you can expect two to three marks from number systems also. Third comes combinational circuits. Again, this is all about your adders, multiplexers, etc. Typically, you see about two to three marks. Again, there, there have been years like 2021 where we have just seen one mark from set two. And there have been years like 2020 where we have seen literally four marks just from combinational circuits. So there is some variance here. And there are some years like, for example, take this 2017, right? There are literally no marks at all. Questions were asked from slightly different topics. Again, sometimes you might get questions from number system, sometimes from combinational circuit, sometimes from Boolean algebra. So the distribution of marks will keep changing. Like for example, look at this, right? So 2017, there are literally no marks, no questions from combinational circuits, but there, were more, there was more importance given to number systems and Boolean algebra, right? So this, this, this will vary from year to year, but in general, combinational circuits is also a fairly easy topic. If you know, if you know the design of these circuits, it's fairly easy to score full marks in this. The only medium level hardness questions in digital logic design come from sequential circuits. Again, even they are not hard. Please understand that. They are not hard or tricky. If you know how flip flops work, if you know concepts like counters, etc., it is also fairly easy to score. Again, you can expect roughly about two marks from this topic. Sometimes there are slightly more, like for example, in 2015, we have seen three marks, right? But in general, you can expect roughly about two marks. Again, amongst all of these topics, sequential circuits is the slightly harder, relatively speaking. It's not hard by gate standards. Most of the questions in sequential circuits are still medium by gate standards. But as compared to Boolean algebra, number systems and combinational circuits, it's slightly harder. That's why we call it medium hardness. So we strongly recommend students who are preparing for digital logic design to analyze this and to get a sense of how important each topic is. Overall, if you think about it, digital logic design itself is very, very scoring. Right of, of the five to six marks that you get, you can easily score like 90% of it. Like typically you can score four to five marks out of the five to six marks very easily. And this is also a small subject if you think about it, right? There aren't too many complex concepts and things like that, fairly easy to score. So we strongly recommend students to cover digital logic design early in their preparation so that, uh, so that they're covering the easy subjects first in their preparation itself. As usual, we will post the, the whole Google sheet that is here in the description section below. 
Again, please feel free to open it and look at this sheet and uh, crunch the numbers in your head to see which topics are more important and how the distribution of marks keep changing from year to year. So this whole data will be available for you in the description box below.